Hello and welcome back to another How to Django tutorial. My name is Tom with Masquerade Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set a link to active using Bootstrap and Django's templating language. In the templates, we're going to use a with statement to set a variable that will get the URL's name. Um, and then we will check to see if the URL's name is our active link. If it is, we'll set it to active using Bootstrap's active class. It, uh, you could also use this method to do a lot of other things in the templates. So you can be really creative with this. So this is not just for setting links to active. All right. I do it to change titles and everything else. So you can do a lot of things with this. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is put a with statement in the top of our um, nav bar here. And we're going to come down to here. The rest of this is actually the nav bar for mastercode.online but we don't need to mess with any of this because this is a drop down menu and we don't need to see if that's active all right back up here with our with statement we're going to go ahead and create a variable for inside our with statement so url name will be our variable and then we're going to get request and this is how you get the url name request resolver underscore match dot URL underscore name and then we're going to close out the with statement with the percent symbol and the curly brace Then down here. We're going to Technically close out our statement. I set it up here, but we're going to actually close it out with um, and with All right, so now in here we have a uh, Variable available to us is has the URL name. All right, so how we use this right here is the bootstrap active or bootstrap for active uh class and what it basically does is highlights our link in bootstrap so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and use an if statement around this so i'm going to put uh the curly brace percent symbol and i'm going to say if url underscore name is equal well, space equal equal to uh index as you can see where i got that it's right below right here that's my URL name index. Then we're going to close out with a percent symbol of curly brace. And then on the other side, we're going to do end if. So uh, curly brace, percent symbol, and end if. Just like that. All right. So if our URL name is index, then we're going to set this class to active. Now we're going to do the rest for the rest of these um, links here. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and paste them all in and change the name. Uh, right here is my next name is course list. So I'll go ahead and copy that. Come up and paste it right here where index is and then copy this again. Probably be easier if I just paste this in every location and then go through. So we'll just do this and that. Whoop, give me space there. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and change this to search like that and this to contact that and this to question list like that and there we go all right so if we go to our website <clears throat> uh let's see here right here and i go to home notice it's highlighted if i go to courses notice it's highlighted if i go to questions Notice it's highlighted. If I go to uh, contact us, it's highlighted and search is highlighted. So just a quick review of what we did. We used a with statement and then we set a variable of URL underscore name and then we used request resolver match dot URL name. That's how we get the URL name in the um, template. And then we're going to go ahead and check if it's if our URL name is matching the name of our actual link. So we got the index name or the URL name here is index, so we're checking that. If it if it is the same as URL name, then we'll go ahead and make that an active class. If you guys have any questions, please let me know over at mastercode.online. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial where I teach you something cool about Django. 